And next up, many farmers and ranchers know the struggle of controlling musk thistle on their pasture. Musk thistle is a designated noxious weed under the Nebraska Department of Agriculture's Noxious Weed Program. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh spoke with Nebraska Extension Range and Forage Specialist Jerry Valeski to learn the best management options. Well, musk thistle is one of several noxious weeds that uh, we have in Nebraska, and its distribution is pretty much statewide, but it's probably more common in central and eastern part of the states and has the characteristic of purple flowers that are on top of a pretty long stalk and very spiny, of course, and it's uh, you don't want to touch it without some good, good leather gloves on. It is, uh, acts as a biennial, and by that I mean the seeds germinate in late summer or fall of the previous year, and then it remains in this what we call a rosette stage, and so that's basically the form where it has uh, very low to the ground, but it's a circular rosette, if you will. In the spring of the year, through about uh, May, it does remain and continue to grow in that rosette stage, but then uh, once we typically get into June, that plant will send up a stalk or we call it bolting upon those or upon that that is where the the purple flowers form and gives us the pretty easily recognized musk thistle plant if you had musk thistle in your fields last year chances are it'll show up again this season to effectively get rid of the weed you need to pay close attention to timing and spray before the flowering begins there are, are several herbicides that uh, are recommended for musk thistle control some popular ones include Milestone, Grazon Next, uh, Gunslinger P plus D, um, other herbicides as well, such as Chaparral, Cimarron, and Curtail can work, and then also even a mix of 2,4-D and Dicama. But the key to this is to uh, is the timing of the application. So they can, and many people do, um, apply herbicides to treat musk thistle in the fall of the year. But then again, an other, an, the other critical time or effective time would be the spring. If the weed has already flowered and formed a waxy layer on the leaves, herbicides may not be effective. However, there are manual ways to try and get it under control. Getting that uh, herbicide applied while it's in the rosette stage or just barely starting to bolt um, pretty much here through May is uh, the time to go. And then once we get after that and it has uh, actually got into that flowering stage, um, herbicides are, are not very effective at all. And so it just comes down to some mechanical treatment with a shovel or hoe, or uh, other people have uh, spent the time to chop off the heads, the flowering heads of that musk thistle and actually collect those and dispose of them later. Even if you sprayed before, musk thistle is persistent and can hide in fields, meaning there's a high likelihood it'll show up again next season. So, um, I think it's it's a very persistent plant that you know has to be some control done on every year and and sometimes uh, it's difficult to see those small rosettes depending on the amount of grass you've got growing around there too so even if you did spray last fall it's likely that you miss some and they're going to be there this spring reporting for market journal i'm maddie mcintosh